just leaving the cemetery at 6.50 a.m. All packed up, just want to be out before any dog walkers <laughs> start coming through. Haven't had breakfast yet or coffee. I'll just make my way into Norton Summit. Um, Joe was gonna have breakfast and get water near the CFS, use the toilet there or something. She didn't like the brown water <laughs> in the tank, but it tasted fine. Yeah, night went well in the cemetery. It's quite a busy road close by, but that um, quietened down during the night. Bit of a long one today, 30 kilometers into Cudley Creek Caravan Park. When we booked it, Granddad's camp was closed. Just before the pub, there is water fountain, water tap. A nice seating area. CFS is just behind, just opposite side of the hotel. Um, toilets are down here. We've got tank water and a nice wall to sit on to have your breakfast. Finally making my start at about quarter to eight. <laughs> I'm gonna try to walk quick. A lot of today, don't wanna get into the caravan park too late. So we have to be there before 5 p.m. Weather's looking good. It's gonna be a good day. Yeah, the cemetery was a good place to pop up a tent. Just had one dog walker come through um, in the late afternoon, but we hadn't didn't set up our tents till after dark. And two pretty significant gear failures. Woke up with a big hole in my sleeping bag uh, and feathers coming out, so I have to fix that up later on. And my mattress has developed a hole sometime during the night. It's fairly new. Yeah, so I'm not sure why that happened. There was kind of a sharp bit on my sleeping bag that I think made a... It scratched my face at one point. I think that made the hole in the sleeping bag. I'm not sure if that made the hole in the mat too, or I'll have to find out where where the hole is. The ground was fairly spiky, and because we didn't set it up till after dark, I might have set it up on something that wasn't good. But there's no hole in my tent that I could tell, so... Oh well, onwards and upwards. Moriata Barnes. Oh, that's very close through Norton Summit. So two night minimum and the fee's quite high per night. Looks like they have some flat spots where people could tent though. <laughs> but that's not a service they've offered so far. First kangaroo today. Didn't see any yesterday, surprisingly. Moriart Conservation Park. Walkers, livestock are grazing for weed and fire control. Please leave the stile and fence as you find it. This is the part where you choose the main route if this river, I guess, is not full or flooded and you choose the longer alternate route if the river is running. That's why on the map there's a funny little alternate route. This seems to be where that alternate route connects back up. Floodwater route. Oh, we're still on the Eurobella as well. Oh, yeah, I just did a few switchbacks. Gotta go to Third Falls while I'm here. Ah, nice. Following the creek along now. And just here above me, some cliffs. I know people can do abseiling and rock climbing. 
in this area. Oh yeah, there's a sign up there. Rock climbing and abseiling. You know, do at your own risk. Bring your own gear, be experienced. Cool. Steep down for me. Big cliffs. There's a viewing platform up there. And stairs that look like they lead to the edge. Or maybe that's a rock climbing area. <laughs> Where people can hook onto. Wow. Moriata Conservation Park. It's so pretty, there's so much to see. Three waterfalls, massive adventure playground for the kids. Definitely worth visiting if you're a local. So pretty through here. It's funny when you pass day walkers closer to the city, they always have a strong smell of shampoo and deodorant and other fragrances. You can see my track going over there. Oh, deep view lookout. Waterfall over there. Wow, long way down. See Giant's Cave at the bottom and First Falls and the track to First Falls, but we don't go down there today. Hmm. Better pick up the pace a bit, I've only done six and a half kilometres, enjoying Moriata too much. <laughs> Steep walk up and deep view. Look out. Now we're walking along the ridge. Every step I make, I'm getting a little bit closer to home. <laughs> I'm aware of that, and at some point today, we'll be heading away from home again. Here, the Hyson and the Urubella diverge. And I didn't even pay attention. <laughs> Hyson to the right. This area is all burnt. I guess 2019 bushfires. It's a burnt marker too. Beautiful. Even these trees that were burnt, they've sprouted new growth all over them. Everything living wants to keep on surviving. If you haven't already made a donation to the charity I'm fundraising for please consider doing that um, even a small amount it all adds up charity is Genesis Pregnancy Support so I've made arrangements with my mum to buy a 
Matt from MacPack at Enfield and bring it to me tomorrow in Cudley Creek. We've got a bit of a shorter day, oh, a bit over 20 kilometers, I think. So I can wait around in the morning for MacPack to open and her to bring it up. But that's only if, if I can't get my mattress repaired tonight. That will be my preferable option, but we'll see how we go. Thankfully tonight we've got a, a bed in the bunkhouse at the caravan park. Looks like my first car there. My first car was a 1984 Subaru wagon. Uh, it was like a silvery blue colour. Yeah, a bit rusty, a bit older than me. <laughs> um, and had a manual choke. It was a manual car and had a manual choke. That was hilarious. But yeah, good times. No air conditioning. Just stopped for a break. Needed to get my pack off. I was getting some chafing between tummy flab and excess pants fabric and my hip belt <laughs> so I need to adjust that when I start again yeah just having a snack done about 11 and a half kilometers so it's a good point to stop there's not really anywhere good to stop so I'm just sitting on the edge of a dirt road three men hiked past fast while I was sitting there <laughs> good to see someone else out here oh my calves are burning but getting stronger First Kulala sighting today. Oh. <laughs> Cute. Looking right at me. Why? Why not? Okay, I gotta stop playing around with the camera and get some kilometers done. <laughs> Oh, bus stop. That would have been a good place to stop and rest and eat. It's the intersection of Marble Hill Road, Cherryville Road and Montacute Road. Ooh, pretty range of colours on those trees. Beautiful. Greens and reds and orange and yellows. Beautiful smell of wood fires in people's houses. Someone's kindly left me a different mode of transport here that I can use the rest of the way to Parachuna instead of my legs. Nah. Nice fence. Down, down, down we go. Down we go, down we go, down, down, down we go on a weekday morning. We down the roller coaster. I just remember the infamous Montacute Hill is going to be coming up some point today. This is pretty steep. But I've trained up and down Pengana. So, this is nothing. Well, this is equally steep. This is not that great on the knees or the toes. <laughs> Which are hitting the front of my shoes. I think this is Montacute Hill. It's pretty dang steep. leveling out a little bit now but there's a cusp ahead what lies on the other side oh it just keeps on going and going <laughs> definitely gonna have to come back another day to climb this beast good luck southbounders and there's sheep one sheep anyway Like they need cheering. Of course it's winter. Oh 
Oh, my everything needs a rest. <sighs> Gotta keep going. But a few switchbacks would have been good. Come on guys, who's building these tracks? I know my car definitely couldn't get up here. I wonder if I laid out my piece of Tyvek and sat on that if I would slide down the hill. I don't know, I'm trying to guess the angle of that incline. It's definitely more than 45 degrees. Okay, maybe this is a little longer than Pangana and a little steeper overall. <laughs> but not by much. Just finished Montague Hill. Oh, gee. My knees, my calves, my quads, all the muscles dead. But like I can barely walk now. It's got flat for a bit. And then some uphill to balance it all out. Why not? Oh, nice little creek. Flowing well. This looks like a nice place to stop and rest. Even a seat. Woohoo! Pretty creek we're walking along. Trying to pound out some quick kilometers while we got the flat because I know we have some more ups and downs coming when we get closer to Cuddly Creek. Listening to some music and the beat helps me walk faster. Wow, look at the colors, yellow and green. There's vines growing up the tree trunks, that's cool. I guess it's ivy, I don't know. What is that, willow trees in there? I don't know all the different plant species, but I appreciate the beauty. The different shapes and sizes and colors. Sixth Creek Fire Track. That's how you get to Montague Hill off of Valley Road. Just passed by a few butterflies flying around and there was one on the ground dead. Just reminds me how quick and fleeting our life on this earth is. You know, here today and then gone tomorrow. It's so quick. So make the most of it. Find what's really, truly important and follow it. This guy is traveling very lightweight. Look at the size of his pack. Nice stuff. I feel like I need to throw up because I'm working so hard. That was a big hill. Still got 10 k's to go to the end. Oh, gonna sleep well tonight. A little while back I passed three guys who were working their way through the Heisen in sections as day walks. They've got a car at each end and they live in Inman Valley. And they asked if we liked the camp area there. So that was cool. And they passed me earlier when I was sitting down having a break at 10 kilometers in. Oh. Just keep pushing north. Ooh. Bit of a vista. Oh. Oh. This keeps just going up and up. It's because we came down, down, down. Please, no more hills. Please. Oh. Yeah, that looks like a nice camp spot for the night. Oh, I wish. Fire and seat. Oh, flat area. No water. Up 
up and down, up and down all day. Ah, 30 kilometers of this. Oh. This is a hard day, the hardest day so far. Got about nine kilometers left to go. Ah. I'm almost at the end of my energy levels. My body's not really conditioned for this distance and elevation change yet. But have no choice. Got that end spot booked and I better hurry up or we'll be there after check-in. Just remember there's a Cuddly Creek Tavern right next to the caravan park. I'm gonna look forward to a nice big meal I don't have to cook myself. Maybe even have dessert. Yes, I'll think about that delicious meal to help spur me on. Just checked the website for the tavern and they're open till 7 p.m. today so I'll definitely get some dinner. And they even open 8.30 every day for breakfast, so that sounds good too. Whew. Oh, the Mawson Trail. First part intersecting that. Goes through a lot of similar areas as the Heisen Trail, except it's designed for bikes. I have seen this board before when I was here a few weeks ago with the Adelaide Bushwalkers Club. Cudley Creek Native Forest Reserve. So making my way to Grandad's camp now. Anyway, we're not stopping there tonight because we thought it was closed for overnight stays when we booked the caravan park. But I'll definitely sit there and have a rest. And then after that, it's just three kilometers to the end. And I definitely prefer the caravan park. There's a shower bed food. Not sure how to pronounce that. <laughs> Track. Silly me, I didn't charge my GoPro batteries last night. So got one charging until I left in the morning, and the other two are flat. <sighs> Need to be more organized. Don't know why I didn't think of it. I did get a video finished, edited, and uploaded though. That took a long time. Still, things could have been charging while I was doing that. Come on, Heidi, organization. It's very warm now. Quite cool earlier, especially in up higher in the breeze, but now I'm getting down low and there's no breeze. And the temperature's really warm. At least mid twenties, I reckon. More uphill. Will it ever end? Whew. I checked and the caravan park is lower elevation than Grandad's. And I feel like Grandad's. It's quite down low, so I have seen it before. So why are we going up? Oh, oh it's a pud. Pointless up and down. Well, not pointless. Just exhausting at the pointy end of the day. It's quarter past two. You'd think that's closer to the middle of the day, but really, if you're in bed before six, this is the end of the day. This has been the hardest day by far. When will it end? Feet say no. Feet say no. Feet say no. Feet say no, 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 no. Feet say no. Feet say no. Feet say no. Feet say no, 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 no. I caught up with Jo. She's feeling the pain too. Some pine trees up there still, all burnt though. Everything living wants to survive. Look at the regrowth all over those trunks. Wow. Granddad's camp. Rainwater tank, but no way for it to be filled. Huh. 
one person shelter, two person shelter. It's like a cubby house. Platform, logs, oh, a stone table, that's cool. Me, I'm going to lie down on the platform. So exhausted. Sure, could stay here for the night. Probably don't have enough water. Wouldn't get a good meal at the pub. <sighs> so nice to lie down though. To be off my feet. There's a door. Looking inside there, it's actually probably two thirds full, the tank, but <laughs> ugh. water's been there for 18 months or more. Yuck. And on private land, here's a little cottage thing. A couple of lakes. The gate is open. I guess you could use that lake water if you're desperate. But it is on private property. Got a hustle now. It's pretty much flat. To the caravan park, thankfully. I'm check in, lie down, and then go to eat straight away. I think oh, I should probably try to repair my mat first. Ooh, getting pretty cool now. In the shade of the hill and a breeze, pretty chilly. Sheep and some small cows. You don't know what you're capable of achieving unless you push yourself way past your comfort zone. 20 kilometers today. With those hills, that would have been comfortable. But 30, with a lot, all those big hills, this is way past my comfort zone. Very painful, but I know I'm gonna feel good in the morning. So push yourself past your comfort zone and see what you can achieve. Now we've got a, a kilometre off trail to get to the caravan park and tavern. I have to walk this again in the morning. Oh, what a glorious sight. The end of my travels today. And a full belly is on my way. Rambler says I've done 32 kilometers and I feel it. 